So I'm doing this work and my soulmate all of a sudden thinks, my God, I've got to go to the Sunshine Coast for some unknown reason. Um, and we meet, but they're nowhere near even thinking about becoming one with God. How does that happen for them? Is it as simple as I heard about you and that's how I started? Or is it through me that they start to, they just think, wow, I've got to start thinking another way or acting another way? I'm a bit confused about that one. Well, what happens is as, you're, as you grow in love, your law of attraction changes exponentially. So if you can think of your law of attraction like a magnet. So you imagine the magnet, like each time you grow in love, the magnet that is your law of attraction for your soul mate grows exponentially, 10 times every time you grow it into a new sphere of love, right? So you imagine if you've grown to the third sphere of love, you now have a hundred times stronger law of attraction with regard to your soulmate than you had when you're in the first sphere. Does that make sense? Now, after a while, the soulmate, even though they might not be consciously aware that this is occurring, they will just feel automatically drawn into your sphere wherever you are. So you might be in a totally different country, but they'll be drawn to coming to that country. You know, that's the way God designed it. Now, if you grow in love to a greater extent again, now you've got a thousand times law of attraction. Now, imagine, like, your soulmate's going to be really struggling now to actually avoid yes. going. <laughs> <laughs> Much to Mary's consternation, this is what happened. <laughs> and uh, so, so for, say, for a period, for, for myself, for a period over five years, I started working through soulmate issues, start, grieving a lot of soulmate type grief that I had, started working through all of these issues. The more and more I worked through the issues, the more drawn I was to come to Queensland. And after a while, I actually knew that my soulmate was in Queensland. And then when I got to Queensland and dealt with more issues, I actually knew my soulmate was overseas. I hadn't met her, but I knew she was born here in Queensland or something like that. And I knew somehow there was a link to Queensland. So, so that's why I came to Queensland. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> you got hurt. All because of me. You got, <laughs> you got her to blame for me being in your life. <laughs> so every one of you get angry at me. You get angry at me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is what happened. And, and uh, as, as I grew in terms of the expression of love, I, I could feel her more and more, I could feel her emotions more, I could feel her qualities even more, without having met her yet. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that just grew and grew and grew, until eventually the attraction was so strong that she couldn't avoid it, even though she didn't know that's what was happening. And that's what will happen with you with your soulmate if you continue to grow in love yourself. Yeah.